This is a music revolution. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is DJ Reeman with Music Revolution Promotion. Uh, this is an introduction to the uh, Laurie Rose uh, interview I'm about to put, put up on this account. I uh, re edited a lot slightly for, because I wanted to put a lot of uh, the uh, tunes underneath the speech, but because there wasn't much time in it, um, I decided to leave one as it is. So you've got a few tracks with New Thing. Uh, she's from the Bronx, New York, and uh, her husband and herself uh, put this album together for a different hat. Hello everybody, to Musical Radio on this Thursday evening, getting colder and colder, but we're going to get there and the show must go on, uh, we're not freezing cold here, uh, outside it probably is, uh, it is in England a little bit, but I don't know where it is in New York, and New York is where we're going to go to, going to speak to Laurie Rose, uh, she's an American artist in her own right, musician and performer, uh, from what I've seen on pro- profiles, but got quite a few songs for, from her from her new album as well, she's a... Uh, R&B hop, cro- uh, R&B hop, hop, R&B pop crossover. Uh, some of the songs I actually was quite surprised with because I admit I'm not a big rap fan. Some stuff I like, uh, some stuff I don't. The earlier stuff I like, you know, Harry Dean, uh, the boys, that kind of stuff, Salt and Pepper, and uh, uh, stuff is a bit like New Jack Swing, which is quite a surprise, and I like it quite a bit. But it's DJ Reeman on MusicalRadio.com with tonight's Thursday show, which is Pop to Punk normally. Well, uh, thanks very much for coming on Stripe and talking to us live from the States. And uh, um, uh, yeah, so we've got uh, your Lightning Done Strike twice in the background uh, off your new album, which is a different hat. Um, is this all new material you've done, or is it like uh, music that you've uh, you've taken from say like ten years ago and like brushed off, or what? What's the uh, what's the uh, situation with the new stuff? Wow, it's funny you bring that up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, we were sitting after we just um, recorded. Um, some um, Seguida um, CD, Electra Siesta, really created on Rada Music Works record label to support our music. And I was sitting there one day after wrapping up on Siesta, um, Electric Siesta, and I said to Steve, I said, you know, we have so many songs Mm. through through the years, have written so many songs, and it's just a shame um, not to get them out there. So why don't we go and revisit, you know, you know, what we have. Yeah. So uh, next day, he was on it right away. I mean, he was like right on there. So Swing Out Sister, uh, and I've heard some other stuff <laughs> a bit recently like that. And uh-huh. see an R&B pop mixture, which is, uh, it really does remind me of the early 90s with New Jack Swing. It caught my attention with a new thing and things. Um, new it, thing, yeah. It's, um, um, would, uh, it's most of this uh kind of older material is it is anything like been pulled like and then remixed or is it or what was i, I know you said well, you've, you've uh, is well it these of? were all recorded um yeah. from scratch again i mean like yeah. we never some of these songs were never recorded oh okay uh a lot of them were never recorded actually nice. um so what we did was we we took you know the basics of the songs and um steve which who does all the music steve yeah. adorno is my husband and we yeah. work together um he revamped everything he did all the music and we basically started from scratch again with these okay. things and uh it was great you know what i wanted to do here was really not have to be really held to one genre no. and which is great about indie music because yeah. you know it's really about your art and what you're doing and what you're trying to show and really honestly through the years I've just done so many different types of things yeah. and I just wanted to show who I really was oh, yeah. in, in this project. Well, it's really quite evident here, Laurie, because I said uh, I played some of the tracks I got off uh, Steve earlier and I downloaded them because he sent them to me and uh, played them through. And it's quite evident every single track is different. It's not like just like a, like one is like R&B or pop. It's quite a, a broad spectrum, really. Um, are all these off one album, by the way? Are, are all the songs off one album? 
Off, off what? Excuse me? Are all the songs that uh, were sent to me, are they all off one album or are they like a uh, lot lay off like several releases or something or No, well these are the songs on a different hat, yeah, which yeah. is my new C D. Yeah. The only ones that he sent you that are different um were I believe Voodoo Madness okay, yeah. and Cage Bird Sings, yeah. which are from the Seguida three C D oh, yeah, which was previously released. Yeah. Now that you were right in saying that that is um Latin jazz. Yeah. And that's a kind of a Latin rock, Latin jazz project that we have together as well. Yeah. Uh, but it's different, it's totally different from oh, yeah. I mean the Lori Rose um C D is really mostly pop. I mean, basically I think my sound is, is a pop sound, but it's just got that edge to it, that little yeah. rock edge or sometimes that funk. Um, R&B edge as well. Because uh, you said about the compilation and so you said to, you just said two of your tracks are on it. Did that actually give you the springboard idea to release the new album uh, 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 for any reason? Did it? Because uh, you've got a lot of songs here and uh, obviously you said it's a bit different to the compilation, but when you heard it uh, uh, at the time, you think, right, okay, did that so, kind of springboard your mind into doing the new project? Yes, actually, um, I was like actually impressed that you know all of these songs put together, mm. you know, actually added up to one really um, interesting uh, bundle, yeah. um, and it's really sparked me to think about maybe putting together something um, a live band to kind of support the music at this point. Yeah. You know, maybe we'll do a little traveling, come visit you down there. You never know. <laughs> hey, you know, that, that would be wonderful. Um, I've only been to, I've been to England once. Oh, okay. And uh, I'd love to come again. Oh, you never know. Because <laughs> uh, I said, uh, oh, yeah, well, uh, because uh, the only way, I know it's uh, very difficult in that regard to do these things, especially like financially, you know, if you got, unless you get endorsed by a lot of companies. Uh, the last band I actually, we went to see me and my wife was Soil, which are an American rock band. I uh, don't know if you've ever heard of them, but they actually did a, a, a an, October, an October tour. Have, uh, have you actually tried that? We, we have done some traveling, but uh, not in recent years. Oh, okay. Um, pretty much. But uh, I, I think that um, we very much welcome that in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, cause, uh, has there been like a, a time gap when you're doing it? Because I, I, I try to get as much information as possible because a lot of the profiles, uh, like a lot of artists have got like, have all got the same information. I was trying to like, read blogs and things. Um, but is there, uh, if, if, did you stop it at some point, have a rest? Or because I said, uh, you said like, um, it said the uh, uh, early 90s uh, when I was reading, and you've done quite a bit with, uh, like, let's say, compilations, and uh, you've been uh, 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 in clubs and things. Uh, did you stop at a certain point and have a rest? Or what, what, what was the situation, say, the last like 10 years or so? Uh, the last 10 years? Yeah. Well, actually, you know, the last 10 years have, have been more devoted to um, a Seguida, yeah. the Latin rock project. Yeah. Um, we've done performances with them as well as, as far as recording uh, three CDs. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really, and that's really, after coming off of those three CDs is where I decided I want to go back and revisit maybe something that would be totally uh, Lori Rose. Okay. So it was great. Yeah. Um, I mean, as far as what I've done, I mean, I'm a Bronx girl, New York. Yeah. So you could probably hear that influence yeah. <laughs> in, in the music. My husband, um, he is really behind um, all of the music on this CD and also Seguida product, Project. Yeah. He's um, co-produced, arranged, and written all of the music. So that is like really the the thread that runs through all of it, yeah. which is really great. And we've been partners uh, in crime, I guess, uh, for many, many years. I'm, I'm always we started all partners in crime. Uh -huh. it, just, it just sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if anybody's listening, and there are a few people in the shout box, I think Mary from Sweden just joined us about five minutes ago. I just looked. Uh, this is DJ Reeman on Musical Radio with the Pop to Punk Show and talk to Laurie Rose, a uh, R&B, pop, a Latin jazz.
kind of crossover. Every single track is very broad. I was actually quite surprised, to be honest. I, I didn't know what to expect with your music, because obviously I've never heard... A, you get, we get a lot of music, of course, being a radio station. I thought, well, I'd have listened to it, and I thought, for some reason I was expecting some mellow pop or some piano or something. I thought, I was a bit surprised. <laughs> uh -huh, no, not at all, not at all. I mean, another thing I did on this CD was I really wanted to make it more world. Yeah. Um, so we, you'll find incorporated uh, into it some um, African 6-8, um, some jazz. I also had written a song in French, which okay. I do sing in French and in Spanish. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yes, I, I think we might have sent it to you. It's called Je marche avec mon bébé. Oh, I don't know, actually. I've got a load of stuff off Steve, but they're all in English titles, so probably not. <laughs> uh, I walk it, it, it really connotes to say walking with my baby. I think he might oh, have sent yeah, you that's that. It, that's the one, yeah, that's it, yeah, I got that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, really I wanted to kind of highlight that as well. Um, I love um, the different cultural aspects that we can bring to music. And uh, what I did with that track is kind of adapted it from an English um, lyric that I had written years before okay. and um, then Steve just changed up the track totally and went for it that way it was really awesome to really have that experience and to be this is the first time I've really actually written in another language oh nice so yeah. it was fun lots uh, of fun there's one thing I like about this station because we didn't really get many like even though you spoke it in French not the other way around <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh you know we like to hear stuff in other languages because you know we've heard like portuguese or polish or stuff and uh it's very nice to, because people don't understand like you know if you get a, a song you, you probably heard stuff in other languages as well and it's like it's like it's like it's like another instrument so, sometimes i don't care if i don't if i don't understand a word it's just something to listen to <laughs> <laughs> right. i know uh, put you, on the spot. But, you know and i try my best you know you could probably um hear my new york accent even through the french so that's probably, kind of funny probably it's like if you if you're american born and speaking trying to speak french probably it, it might sound quite nice and unique but you know it's still like french trying to trying to speak in, uh, american to be the way around but oh it'd be quite interesting to hear <laughs> Right now, Laurie, you're going to play another song off your album, a uh, new album, which is uh, the different, uh, different hat. I only said different cat there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, which one out of the ones I've got off your album, uh, one of ones Steve said, which is the first one you uh, uh, wrote for the album? The first one we wrote? Yeah. Um, I think... Well, you know what, there there really wasn't a first one, okay. um, but I believe that Love and Six, one of the ones that Steve and I wrote together, Yeah. Um, that's one, one of my favorite songs, Okay. and um, I'm really digging that. That has that 6-8 um, time signature, okay. um, and that has some of that African influence that you, and, and jazz that you, we wanted to incorporate, so that's a quite interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah, well, what we'll do, Laurie, now is play that because I want to, like, ask that for a reason. <laughs> so people get the <laughs> idea of, like, uh, where, where, where the really basic the album kind of started, you know, because, like, uh, you know, um, actually, also, uh, when you started this uh, as a, as a, like, al album, what was your goal? Was it for a complete album or did you, like, just see, uh, when you started, see how it actually rolled out and how many tracks you sorted out and things like that? Actually, it did start very similar to that. We yeah. just started one thing at a time and choosing these songs. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun, and it was a wonderful project for both of us to share. And uh, we, had, we enjoyed doing it. Well, Laurie, I'll uh, mute while I played this. Well, I mentioned, did mention it before we come on, so you know I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't think, where is he? I thought, oh, sorry, I muted it. <laughs> so this is uh, Laurie Rose and Love and Six on Music World Radio. Thank you. Excellent. Yes. Currently out on iTunes and everywhere else you can find it. iTunes, Zoom, which I've never heard of, Amazon, eMusic, Napster, Music, uh, MySpace Music. So a few places to go digitally to go and get it. Uh, I don't know. I've no idea there's a CD about. One of the best things about being in New York is to be able to work with so many wonderful and very talented musicians. And I've cool. been very fortunate over the years to work with some of the finest. And 
I'd love to mention them if I can. Sure, um, go for it. Um, we, on guitar, we have uh, a wonderful guitarist, Joe Weinman. Yeah. And he's from Long Island in New York. Uh, on bass, we have Wally Irizarry, a wonderful bass player. Uh, and also on on New Thing featured would be a bass player, a funkster bass player. Oh, yeah. um, his name is Paris Ford. Okay. Uh, he's very well known from being in the BBQ band, oh, okay. which some might, re might remember. Uh, they had a hit on the beat. And then on Woodwinds, we have on sax, uh, Mr. Alan Wan, yeah. who uh, is an awesome, awesome artist in itself. Uh, on rhymes, on the rap, we have Change, and that's uh, what he goes by. His name is Change. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, I had a, a new up-and-coming vocalist, um, Angelique, uh, helping me with some of the background vocals. So, uh, what do you do in terms of the studio work? Because, um, uh, well, well, when you start, before you, before you go to the studio, do you all get together and decide uh, what to do, what, you know, how to arrange it before you go into the studio, or how does it work with everybody? You know, a lot of, a lot of times, we'll, what we'll do is we work on it. Um, some things are arranged beforehand, yeah. and I, I get ideas for what I want to do. But basically, when I'm, I'm going down there to record it, it's, you know, whatever, you know, it's like green light, go. Whatever comes out is what's going to happen. <laughs> I have a general idea, but I like to really kind of work spur of the moment because yeah. I find that it works best for me. Cool. And because uh, I know uh, uh, everybody like, like uh, little Steven Shoutbox, he's done like, quite a bit of stuff lately. I thought I mentioned him because he's around. And, um, but uh, um, is it like a uh, studio with like separate booths or is it like a big room or like wh where do you go to record? Oh no, this is a home studio. Oh, okay. Absolutely, home studio. It's, you know, indie at its finest. It's like, because well, well, uh, you know when you said uh, 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 you use different instruments, or you do like pre-record and then put them in, uh, into the home studio, out, right, is he, if you've got like a big home studio or... How, how does it work? No, no, it's a very, it's small, it's my, my in my home is small, yeah. and um, it's really just, uh, we have the guest uh, musicians come and just play, it's actually, we're sitting in my living room, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and doing that, so, um, it, and then there are, there are some things that uh, were sampled, of course, you can yeah. hear, yeah. but um, the, the solo artists are all, all awesome and I thank them very much for being a part of this. Well we got to have a track lolly. Uh, which um, which track would you like to uh, would be play? Which is kind of your favorite or haven't played yet? <laughs> I think did you play New Thang? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Actually, no, I played uh, when it was in the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, Bubble Upcomers, but I haven't played this. But uh, uh, what's the uh, uh, talking of this specific track but um it's been very very popular so i'm very very happy to include it on the cd yeah very nice it is as well actually uh because i well originally when we got both um uh the well, when i originally played which i'm gonna get a lot not lightning doesn't strike twice which is actually on the bubble comments for voting so people vote please <laughs> please we don't, we, we don't force the issue you know <laughs> and uh <laughs> But this is the one uh, I like as well, actually, because um, uh, originally we actually got uh, three nominated, because, but unfortunately uh, we only have one at a time, so we're keeping the back burner. Well, we got more anyway, so we can, and if one happens by accident to drop out, we don't like songs dropping out of a chart, but it does happen, you know, we can put another one in. <laughs> so this there is, we go. So this is new thing, I highly recommend listening to this, because this is one of my favorites as it happens. Uh, this is new thing by Laurie Rose. I, th I just noticed Steve actually sent me it. Said it's a new single for. Oh, okay, I just realised. And uh, Steve uh, Ador Adorno of Sea uh, Sea Guider Music, uh, Music Works. Sorry, sorry, Sea Guider and On Road and Music Works. I'll get it right in a minute. Uh, he sent me the uh, uh, songs originally. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for playing New Thing. Yeah, I because uh, I I said I uh, I got the rest of the tracks um, the other day and I was listening to them. Well, as it, I got today, I think, or the day before, I can't remember. And I got a lot a lot of more listening to them just quickly, and because uh, we got two, uh, like uh, I think two or three were nominated by Steve. I think Steve did that, and uh, for the chart and uh, and of course we got uh, I got the other because he he sent it from my email. 
And um, but uh, in terms of your singing, Laurie, style that you have in certain songs as well as the older ones. I have to tell you, um, of course, you hear the old school influence. Yeah, definitely. Yes. And, uh, you know, when I was a, a little girl, I, I grew up with many influences. My, my dad, you know, turned me on to um, Latin music at a very young age. I'm actually of Italian descent. Oh, okay. Um, but, you know, we were singing and dancing when I was like two. So, oh. you know, it's basically, it's been all, it's been up from there. Yeah. Um, and living in the Bronx, New York, you really are, it really is a melting pot, I must say. I mean, you are influenced by so many different things. And yeah. if you can open your ears and your heart to them, yeah. um, it's very easy to be enchanted. And, and really, um, I've had very many opportunities to spread my wings, um, I must say, in, in, in different areas. And I'm just loving every minute of it. Because uh, I, I said before when I, uh, well, when I tried to play some of this on Monday and my connection went down, I played, uh, I think I played uh, one track. Um, and uh, like I said, it sounds really old school. Uh, when you were, uh, obviously this is a new project, a new album, and uh, obviously you've done music in the past. And was this, with this album, was it kind of a, shall I say, happy accident, uh, the actual old style coming to the music? Was it... Was it kind of the plan, or was it kind of a happy accident at the same time? Well, you know, I, I think it, it wasn't. It was planned just to a certain extent. Yeah. I, I think um, in the old tracks that uh, we we redid. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we try to update them. You know, so we can fit into you know today's market yeah. somewhat. You know, but you don't want to take away from the beauty of it uh, altogether. Um, so it really is kind of a mishmash yes. of you know of <laughs> of everything put together. And, uh, you and said, oh, sorry, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. It's okay. Because uh, you said you've uh, I looked on the Reverb Nation. What well, uh, I don't know if you and Steve and put up or probably a mixture. Um, so like it's you mentioned that you were in a band at one point. Um, uh, is th- is like you said, you mentioned uh, about uh, trying to put a band together for this album. Is that the idea, like kind of the future for the next year? To uh, obviously, there's a lot going on in the songs, and uh, and you, get, you said you got musicians coming in. Uh, is that the idea to use those musicians on tour? Is that kind of the plan you've got, or um, are you gonna? I'm sure that I I'd be working with, and it, I'm I'm looking forward to doing something in that direction soon. Uh, what would uh, actually? Um, I said. Uh, what would you like to? What what songs would you like to hear live yourself? You know, in terms of what you've uh, done with the new album. Like if, uh, in your head, what if, what's kind of going on? You know, uh, if obviously you sung on all vocals and they're all live, and you two record them all together. Um, uh, when when you image them in your head, when you listen to them, what what? What songs really stand out that would you say would be very good live? Um, well, you know, I really think that um, what what's good. I mean, the rock, obviously, the rock, the the rock songs that yeah. have a little bit more of a rock edge. Yeah. Um, on live on stage, I'm a pretty good belter there. I can belt with the best of them. <laughs> so but certainly that would be really fun for me. But, you know, I also, you know, I also want to show my, you know, the softer edge of me and uh, the more uh, creative um, jazzy end of me also. So I, I really think that even something like uh, Walking With My Baby yeah. um, will translate very, very well uh, to the live stage. I think, you know, what's, What's what's really fun about it is I I really think that when you listen to the CD yeah. and and hopefully in the live show, um, I, I don't think you can really you know say well I'm bored of this this song sounds no. like the next and it sounds like the next and it sounds like the next you know at least you can say that you know you get a little something different a oh, little yeah. you know a little influence you know influences are, are are different in each song so. And there's that similarity running through all of them, which uh, I'm very proud of. Yeah, because I said uh, before, and I said uh, when I listened to the uh, f- uh, songs originally, that uh, even though we had two songs first, and Steve sent me the others, uh, uh, they're all even though it's like an old style R&B, which I actually prefer to the new stuff. Um, 
um, you know, in terms of the, all the rap stuff around. And obviously the Bronx is probably full of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I must admit, I'm not a big rap fan or R&B fan, but that the stuff you do is kind of the what I like, the old school stuff, because it sounds more, uh, it's obviously it's all written by you and uh, there's a lot of musicians coming in. So there's actually a lot going on. It's like a, a like a really well-produced dance track. There's a lot going on. You can hear it comes, things come from every direction and it's really nice to listen to and it's really quite soft and loungy as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, I think the old school influence is is, is really a big part mm. of um, who I am and yeah. who we are uh, as a writing team as well. I mean, um, Steve, who um, also um, back in the day toured with a, a band called GQ. Yeah. Uh, they had a hit called. Um, actually, they had a few number one hits. I shouldn't say once one hit at all, but I mean. Basically, Disco Nights was their number one, and I think. Do you remember that one? Uh, now, my, my, it's one of those things where I've heard I've, I've heard of a song, but if I heard it, I, it'll probably get to me in about twenty seconds. It's like <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know, it was worldwide, yeah. and they they've done international tours, and that mm-hmm. was back in the early nineteen eighties. Um, Arista recording artist GQ, and um, Steve was the drummer. Ah. Um, yes, yes. And, and so actually one of the songs on this CD was co-written by uh, Steve and Emmanuel Rahim, who is the lead vocalist from that band, GQ. Ah. And the song um, is more in the R&B tip, um, and it's called Falling in Love. It's more kind of a slow jam, yeah. you know, which is kind of nice, kind of mixes it up a little bit. This is the uh, next song I'm actually going to play off your album. I think it's called App, to be quite honest with what I've just heard. This is called, uh, actually, um, uh, the next track I'm going to play is Legend in Disguise. And what is the idea behind this? Is it uh, is, is there a lot of history involved in this song? Oh, well, this, this song is just so much fun. I mean, <laughs> it really was planned out. I mean, this is a song that we revamped yeah. uh, that Steve and I wrote, but we really it was is really a very visual song okay yeah. so when you hear it you, you're really going to get a good video in your mind about what this song is really uh, what's happening in this song and it's really kind of a little caric- caricature of itself um and you'll see what i mean once you play it and it's yeah. you know you get you, you get the whole picture oh, it's kind of it's really a lot of fun i think it's in the title <laughs> <laughs> Legend of Disguise, I think there must have been the reason for that title. Right. Oh, this, you'll, yes, you'll know. You'll yeah. know. You'll know once you hear it. <laughs> so this is DJ Ream on Music World Radio, everybody. Thanks everyone so much for listening tonight. Uh, got about 20 minutes to go. Uh, hopefully, up till the end, we'll be uh, 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 talking to Laurie. Uh, there's no reason now why we won't sh- stop short. But I want to play that French one next. I'm really intrigued. Uh, so, uh, uh, but this is Paulie uh, DJ Reeven on Music World Radio with a pop to punk show. Uh, talking to Laurie Rose live, and uh, I'll be muting the sound for a few minutes while I play this track. This is Legend in Disguise from a new album, A Different Hat, by Laurie Rose on Music World Radio. Okay, gotta run.
Legend of Disguise by Laurie Rose uh, on Musical Radio. She's in New York and uh, currently um, drumming up ideas really for going on a tour if it's possible. Um, you know, because obviously, uh, like I said to her earlier, that um, it depends how it happens. And I know Laurie, I said she wants to come to England. She's been before. So things have got to be worked out, but in the future. So back to Laurie. Welcome back. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, before uh, before we go, I know we got like uh, quite a few tracks. I'll be basically playlisting uh, in the next few weeks and into the, and into the new year. So uh, I'll be uh, playing them one at a time or a couple or depends what people request, of course. And people can request songs, by the way. I know we haven't got much time left as such, but uh, uh, you know we can play as many as you like, really. Uh, but um, one thing I want to play now, uh, Laurie, because you said about this being in French. I- I'm very curious, actually. I'm going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, but you said this before, uh, earlier, but uh, what gave you the idea to actually sing in French? Um, well, you know, I've, I've, I love the language. Oh, okay. I've been uh, studying French, you know, through the school years all the way up um, for quite some time now. Oh. And uh, I just was always fell in love with the, the language. I love listening to it. And uh, I... I felt like, you know, when I listened to this song in the English version, I just, it, it just, as I was, it was something we were doing while we were recording this CD. Uh-huh. And when we decided to take a look at this song, for some reason, I just thought it would really translate well mm. in the French language. So I decided to, to give it a whirl and uh, adapted it uh, from the English. I didn't, you know, it's not an exact Ad- adaptation, mm-hmm. but uh, it's it's going to give you the same um, feeling and em- evoke the same emotion uh, with the French words that I had with the English words. Well, uh, so um, I, I was I, I really was uh, proud of doing this one. I, I just I, was, I can imagine in the studio you sit down do the English version, and all of a sudden you start speaking in French, and he comes along and said, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> I know, and oh my, try to rhyme words. It's it's you know, it's I think the French um a lot of French songs do not rhyme. Oh. I, I realize that. And so but you know, in in um uh, in America we're used to rhyming stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, it works. So, you know, I, I you know, I write a certain way, so I was, you know, I you know, it took me a while, but I got it in there. I got it. In French no less. <laughs>
very nice actually I was uh, walking my baby in French by Laurie Rose in New York welcome back thank you I think that was liked a lot <laughs> <laughs> I'm of shell box over there. you got like, you got a few fans in there yes yes it's awesome you got, you got, um, it Mike Al I think and Stephanie B uh, in the shout box so you got a few fans liking the French because oh, like, that reminds me a lot of Gloria Estefan stuff when she used to speak when she used to I think uh, I think when she used to speak Spanish I believe and singing yeah so she yes yes very much and, and you know the track is really has um 
it's it's uh, Latin beats yeah. to it. So kind of we mixing cultural mixes there. Um, you know what's great though, in in all uh, honesty, um, the the music business has changed so much oh, yeah. since the time when I first started, and really the facilitation of this CD has been. Um, the recent changes and the fact that as an indie artist you really can you can put your your music and your heart out there and um, that has been like a godsend uh, for me and I'm sure a lot of other artists who um, uh, don't have to wait for huge um, record corporations to uh, turn them down so (laughs) um, I want to thank you and um, Music World Radio for supporting indie artists. And uh, I thank you so much for that. And I am so happy uh, to have been a part of uh, your show tonight. Well, thank you very much, Lauren. It's a pleasure and I love doing interviews. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a kick you get doing live radio. Well, let's try You Are The One For Me because that's kind of a kicker and it's kind of an American country rock kicker. There you go. Kind of a, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll, up, we'll end the show with this. Thank you very much, Laurie, for talking to us from New York.